This is a guide on how to host your own Sons of the Forest dedicated server with Steam CMD on a Windows machine. You will need to own the game with your Steam account since this will require you to log in with your Steam account to make a dedicated server and update the server when patches roll out. First off, let's download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server. So simply just open up a browser and just type in Steam CMD downloads and make sure it's on this one. Go to Steam CMD, Valve Developer Community, click on Windows. Click on the links to download the files. So while you are still downloading Steam CMD, let's just go ahead to your C drive and we'll just make a new folder called Steam CMD. All right. Okay, once you have Steam CMD downloaded, it should be in the downloads folder. Just go ahead and right click, hit extract all. You can browse and we'll go to this PC C drive and we're gonna look for that new folder you just created called CCMD. Let's go ahead and select the folder and just hit extract. And once it's in this folder, it should just only have this steamcmd.exe file. And once you double click on it, it will go ahead and populate all these other files that you need here. And that's it. Just close it out. Now we'll need to launch command prompt. If you don't have it on your taskbar, you can just type it in your search bar here and just type in command. It should be this black terminal screen right here. All right. And then we're going to type in this command. All right. CD space C colon backslash steam CMD. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and put in this whole command. I will go ahead and put it this command line down in the description down below. So you do have it. All right, and I'm just going to briefly explain it here. Make sure you do fill this out with your Steam account name. All right, it's going to make a folder in your C drive called Sons of the Forest, and it's going to grab all the apps and files from Sons of the Forest to make a dedicated server. And then it's going to validate to make sure there was no corruption in the files, and then it's going to quit. So once you fill this in with your Steam account name, just hit enter and you should have this folder once you're done all right so in the same screen you want to update your sons of the forest dedicated server just look for this verify update sons of the forest dedicated dot batch file right here just go ahead and double click that bad boy and it's going to connect anonymously to steam public by using a login anonymously and it's going to go ahead and update your sons of the forest server to the latest and greatest all right, and we could just leave off where we left off from. And if you want to know where the files were located at, you can go to your C drive. And it should be Sons of the Forest folder right here. All right, now we'll need to launch the Sons of the Forest by cl double clicking on the start Sons of the Forest dedicated dot bat file to start the server, which is this one right here. Just double click on it. And it's going to go through some checklists just to make sure the ports are open. If it does fail the first time, just close it out and start it again. And if you get Windows Firewall popping up, make sure you allow it. Now let's go ahead and start the port forwarding process. You will need to port forward these ports on your router. 8766, 27016, and 9700. You will need to log into your router to achieve port forwarding. If you have never done this, I will kind of show you how you can. Just launch command prompt on your dedicated server. Type in ipconfig. Take note of the IPv4 address. Take note of the default gateway IP. Open up a browser. Type in the default gateway IP address. If you don't know the login information at this point, it should be on your router with a sticker with the username and password. I highly recommend changing the default password if you haven't already, just for security reasons. If you don't know how to port forward on your modem router, you may just need to Google it for your specific model. But in my case, I am going to log into my Asus modem. I'm going to go to WAN, port forwarding, add a profile, 
and add in the ports that need to be forwarded to my dedicated servers. And once you do that, you can start the server again to make sure there was no errors that occurred. If they did not, that means your firewall is good and your port forwarding is good. Once your server is at this screen where the loading progress is at 99 and has these messages, then you can close it out because we are going to configure the settings now. Okay, so that's all, that's all done. Let's just close out the server now. All right, now we'll need to navigate to this path. Let's go back to this PC, C drive, users, and your current login. In my case, it's admin. And app data. If you don't have the app data folder here, it's a hidden folder, so you'll have to change your view section. Go to view. Make sure the hidden items is checkmarked. Otherwise, you won't see it. Just double click in the app data. Is it a local low? End of night. Sons of the Forest DS. All right, so this is the main server configuration file. The owner's whitelist is for server admins, but we'll be configuring this first. So right click and we'll hit edit. Make sure you put in the server name to your likings. The maximum amount of players is currently only eight. Set up the password to whatever you wanted to set it to so your friends can join it. Mine is super secure, just saying. <laughs> LAN only. I set it to false so it's publicly accessible, meaning that my friends can join. You can set it to true for LAN only play if you don't want to play with any internet listing. So you'll be playing locally or at the game mode the game mode you can set it to normal hard all right once you're done with this just go ahead and control s or just hit file and save and we'll just close that out now we need to go to owners whitelist for server admins if you want to now we can set up admins if we need to i can kind of show you that real quick just read through the directions that are they are pretty straightforward to make yourself an admin you need to find your steam id by opening up steam view account details and your steam cid should be right here i'm gonna blur mine out just so nobody can see it but just copy and paste this bad boy into this property right here so it should be looking like this and you can put in more if you needed to so we can say this is bob okay and he's gonna be admin number two all right and then we're gonna put chuck it's going to be admin three and put in his steam id in here so your friends will have to supply that to you so just make sure you keep note of that and i do keep the comment section here just so i keep track of who's who all right and if you want them not to be an admin no more you just simply take them off and just hit control save or control s to save all right now we'll need to go back to the c drive where we made the sons of the forest folder and we'll need to launch sons of the forest dedicated dot batch file again all right let that load up and now we're gonna try to join the game and i'll show you guys how to do that real quick okay all right the game is launched you want to go to multiplayer join all right change your source to dedicated and let's filter in this bad boy so i named mine rakuza gaming it's probably gonna take a little while because i just started it so bear with us for a little bit all right now my servers showed up finally and we're gonna hit join and we're gonna put in that super secure password that i put in we're just gonna hit connect and boom you got the loading screen that means you're good to go everything's connecting well it's a good sign so far all right this is good sign all right we're just gonna skip through the cinematics and heck yeah there we go guys Well, if you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe. This will help the channel grow, and I do plan out to put more dedicated server guides when time allows.
Let me know down in the comments down below which you want to see next. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.